Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Mount St. Helens, is it gearing up for another eruption? I don't know. There's been over 178 earthquakes in the last month. The highest activity may be in the last uh, 15 to 18 years. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. I only drew out some of the earthquakes. Yeah, 178 of them would be a lot to mark out. And they've been relatively small. A magnitude um, 0 0.3. I think the largest was a magnitude 1.1. Supposedly, you don't have to worry until they get to a depth of about 2 kilometers. Um, there is some that are shallower. 1.3 kilometers or about 2 miles below sea level. This one was even shallower, 0 0.8 miles, 3.5, 2.4, 1.7. Yeah, they're getting shallower. You can see that, but there is some at the deeper depth for the uh, larger magma chamber. What's currently happening now is uh, magma is coming up from the deep storage chamber going up into the shallow magma chamber. And then there's another one um, up underneath the volcano. And this here in pink is all the earthquakes that were recorded in 1980 and the depth of those earthquakes. Up over here is that smaller magma chamber that created the eruption. So we're getting earthquakes here in this upper magma chamber showing it's recharging. This here is a gas monitoring for hydrogen sulfide. You notice that it increased around the 18th of October. Now the vent temperatures, it goes here to the second of this month. Um, looks like it's relatively holding, you know, steady, holding normal. Around the second, yeah, it looks like it dropped a little bit for some reason. And for water vapor, well, that went down around the 30th of October increased around the second and looks like it is going up but it doesn't show what's going on for today the fourth or even the third carbon di dioxide has dropped i don't know if it's got anything to do with the wind it very well could here we got the wind speed you can see here how it has increased sulfur dioxide is holding sort of steady it looks like it was starting to go up a little bit here on the second of this month and ground temperature also around the second drump jumped, excuse me, went down and then, yeah, another little spike there, but it's holding steady right now as of the second. Once again, this is hydrogen sulfide, sulfur dioxide, the vent temperature, and water vapor. I want to end it with that and show you this. I have two monitors that I downloaded from Mount St. Helens. Um, yeah, and you can see the heat coming up and the water and the gases coming up. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Okay, well, let me come back down. Yeah, okay. What I noticed today with the last couple hours is the increase in activity. Let's go to the seismic signatures. And we got lots of them marked in red. I don't know if that's right there. It's hard to tell. Let me pull that one. I'll make that one bigger. Okay, and we'll bring it down so you can see. Uh, let's see. It went small on me, didn't it? Okay. Yeah, we got a lot marked in red here. Okay. Uh, let me pull it right there. And we'll extract that. Yeah, magma on the move along with the popping and the movement of the ground. Yeah, let me see here. All right, and we'll, well, I'll just, can I do that? No, nope, it's not going to let me do that. There was one earthquake, well, there's lots of little ones here. But this one right here, oops, sorry, I noticed. And 
they're saying everything's <laughs> little. So this one is definitely not being posted or being shared with you. Let me bring it over. And you can see it's on both monitors. Um, this one here, SWF2, looks like the better signature with less of a P wave, which would be on the southwestern flank where a majority of these earthquakes have been occurring along this uh, caldera rim. So that would be the largest earthquake probably in the last month. That comes in as a magnitude 1.55. I'll bring it down so you can see it. And they're not reporting it. Um, 1713 Universal Time. And they do have it posted. <laughs> I have to laugh. As a 0 0.7. I don't know who's doing the monitoring there. Yeah, 2.4 miles below sea level. Yep, yep, they're lying. Maybe because uh, they're increasing in size? Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? There's quite a few other ones here. Let me see. But that looks like to be the largest. Let me bring it down. Hard to tell what's going on in there, though. All right, let me go back up. You notice that blobs of magma rising up. Okay, the next largest one would probably be this one right here. And we'll look at the seismic signature. Um, let's just extract that. Yeah, that's uh, fault movement, uplift. Okay, and we'll go back and let's see how big it is. Okay, maybe there. And I'll end it a little early. That comes in as a 1.31. I suspect all these earthquakes they're lying about. This is at 2019. Not being reported. Okay. At 249 Universal, we got some popping going on. Let's extract that. Yeah. Okay, let me make that smaller. That's again. The ground getting brittle. Let's extract that one. Yeah, more popping. Yeah, okay. Let's come over here. See what we got there. Same thing. Magma on the move, but yeah, here we got the uh, plumes, the blobs of magma coming in. It started coming in. That's, yeah, that's harmonic tremor. Okay, let's pull this over here. Yeah, a mixture of, of um, yeah, see how the rounded tops, volcanic tremor with some popping. Let me go right there. Let's check that out. Okay. And we'll go to this one. Yeah, it looks more like, uh, well, see, that's rounded there. But here we got, yeah, we got a mixture as the magma rises up in the system. Um, yeah. All right, I'll go to the other. Let me do this. I'll go to the other monitor. I'll show you. Let's see what it was doing. Let me close this before I do that. What the coloring was like. Yeah, we got some heat. I'm going to go here. I'm not quite sure where the line of, is at. It just, everything's so cockeyed on here. Yeah. Oops, went down too far. I'll just come, oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, 1450 Universal. That would have been at 8, um, 50 a.m. Uh, local time. And there's an earthquake somewhere in there. Let me see if I can keep it on the line. See if I can find anything that's popping. Yeah, I don't see anything. Just how well, just the popping of the ground. Okay, so this is what the other monitor was showing. This is USFR, which is the monitor to the west. So these are the two monitors that I'm using. Um, SWF2 and USFR. 
yeah, I probably <laughs> should have showed you this at the beginning of my video. Yeah, so these are the two monitors. Let me bring, oops. Oh, well. Yeah. And it settled down. And just bring it down. Can't tell where. Yeah, it settled down. Um, this would have been, let me find this, what time it would have been when I pulled the files. Darn it. 16.18 universal time. So that would have been at 9.18 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, and this is USFR which is this monitor again to the west. What I also did was draw out some of the uh, past eruptions that I could find. Um, the different cones that they labeled. This one here is called the Sugar Bowl eruption. Now that one happened um, 850 to maybe 980. And then the Pine Creek eruption um, that was maybe 2.9 to 2.5 thousand years ago. The Pine Creek Flow, they actually have a place where you can go down over here to see the remains of the pyroclastic flow. I thought that was interesting. Um, Lahar Pine Creek Eruption. I got it spelled wrong when I put it in there. Um, that's a viewpoint where you can go to the parking lot and actually see the debris, the remains, the scarring from the lahar from that um, eruption. There were some other eruptions in the past that I marked out. Yeah, you know, we're also familiar with the 1980 eruption, but up over here they got what's called the Goat Rock Eruption. And there's an area, or it used to be until Mount St. Helens blew, where you could actually see what they called the floating island lava flow. And they called it that because it was remains of a lava flow where the trees were growing up in like three different strips of lava. That lava flow evidently happened in 1801. Yeah, not that long ago. Um, yeah, I wonder why they don't talk about um, other historical eruptions at Mount St. Helens. And then there was another area. Let me bring it out. Um, these are other ancient, supposedly extinct volcanoes. Um, we got Goat Rock. This is actually a huge arch that goes from Mount Rainier all the way to Mount Adams. We got um, Hogback Mountain. That's another ancient volcano. And Tumac uh, Mountain. That's another ancient volcano. Yeah, why are they downgrading these earthquakes? Yeah, they're saying they're all... Um, 0 0.3s and 0 0.4s, and I just showed you they're not. All right, 902 Universal. Let me see if I can find it over here in 30 seconds. Okay, let me bring this up because there is a small one in there. Uh, okay, they probably didn't even report it. It's right there. Yeah. So that one before the popping... Let me make that one bigger. That comes in as a magnitude 1.33. Yeah, I just noticed this too. Yeah, look at the heat coming up. While we're all distracted with other types of news, yeah, we're not watching what's going on here in the United States. Um, I was doing um, different little videos about... Um, you know, several days of, of news posting that. Um, but YouTube was flagging it, 
saying it was not appropriate for people to watch. What I'll probably end up doing is putting it on uh, my Patreon account or my Rumble account and only posting it there. Okay, that one there comes in as a magnitude 0 0.55. Okay, we got another one. Is this the one I just did? It probably is. Yeah, that's the one I already did. That's the most, well, we got some more pop in here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anyways, I'll give you links down below for everything. But as you saw with the gases and the heat and other things, um, they're about two days behind in, in what they're posting for Mount St. Helens. Yeah, yeah, I had a laugh when I seen this other thing too. This is for t uh, for yesterday, Friday, November 3rd for uh, Mount St. Helens. Activity update. All volcanoes at the Cascadia Range of Oregon and Washington are normal. Uh, back Ground activity levels including Mount Baker, Glacier Peak, Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, and Mount Adams in Washington State, etc. Yeah, they're all green. Mount St. Helens. I mean, this is so ridiculous. Mount St. Helens continues to have a higher seismicity than has been recorded in recent years. I already talked about that. Anywhere from 15 to maybe 17 years. It's the highest right now. Um, with 19 earthquakes. 19 earthquakes since October 28th. When they have posted. Um, right here they're saying the largest was a magnitude 1.1. But uh, yeah. 19 earthquakes. Whereas just for the last week there's been 30. If I go to all magnitudes for the last month oh my goodness yeah well it takes in the surrounding area 182 yeah a lot more than 19 earthquakes wouldn't you say since october 28th 19 who writes this garbage for them no changes has been detected in ground deformation you know they lie like a rug let me bring this down. Who writes this garbage? John Major, scientist in charge. Fire that guy. Many of these earthquakes, let me go back to the last week, are within the depth range where they should start getting concerned. 2.4, 1.7, 0 0.8 miles. Some of them are deeper, coming up from that deeper magma chamber. Uh, 2.2, 2.3, 0 0.9. Yeah, I'd be concerned. Yeah, it's up here. Up here. Yeah, it's moving from the deep magma chamber to the shallow ma magma chamber. And it's building, yeah, building up its pressure. Yeah, yeah, nothing to see. Move along. Let's decrease the world's population. If we can't start a war... We won't notify them about any. Did you know that Mount St. Helens, they didn't know that any of the activity was going on or reported until about two weeks before it actually erupted? What are the people there at the Cascadia Subduction Zone doing? I mean, nowadays we got a lot more equipment and monitoring systems than what they had back then. So there's no excuse. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As I mentioned, I'm also on Patreon if you want to support my work. I do have PayPal. And I'm also on Rumble. Yeah, freedom of speech on Rumble. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.